Hi guys, good to have you all back. Let me tell you what is on my desk today. These are cheap, single-sided, 6x6 paper pads. And you have some. I know you have some, do not lie to me. Yeah, because A, you are a beginner and you are smart and you wanted to do some practicing, some experimenting with some papers. Um, so you decided to get some cheap ones, which is a fantastic idea. Yeah, Or B, you are like me. Once a beginner, started buying them because, you know, they are pretty, they are cheap. But at one point, honestly, and I'm talking to myself, guys, you need to stop buying them because enough is enough. Sometimes I pick something up and realize I already have two of them. Yeah. So you're either a beginner, you have these, or you're not a beginner and you still have these. Uh, let me get you uh, give you a, a quick tip, guys. If you're a beginner, do not buy more than five that's honestly guys that's enough i truly have a gazillion these are just a couple of them so we're doing a project for beginners because it's going to be very easy but we're also doing a project for non-beginners like me because you have this and you need to use it we're gonna use it so here's the plan and the supplies. The plan is I want to make small pocket envelope thingies from these that you can use during the holidays to put gift cards in or use them in your journals. I am actually going to make giveaways because I am doing a meet and greet um, uh, December 9th. And, you know, I want to have something lovely to give away. So I'm going to make small little uh, decorated pockets and put some bits and bobs in and, you know, have it as a small gift. Um with these six by six now for papers these or eight by eights or ten by tens you could make them from 12 by 12 but they will be big pockets but you have if you have something big to give away that'll work as well however um these are single sided if you have double sided ones you can use those if you want to uh i wouldn't because i would make this into another project um and also don't have them really really heavy yeah, so not the heavy scrapbook paper. I would not recommend uh, any paper that was um, heavier than, let's say, 160 grams. I think that is sort of the limit. Otherwise, the folding will be a little bit more difficult. So, papers. Yeah, 6x6, six 8x8, by six, by eight, 10 10 by 10s cheap ones, but lovely ones. For um, the tools, basics, guys. Glue, scissors. Probably using a corn rounder, not even necessary. Um, maybe a ruler and a knife if my sister's trick won't work. I am using a scoreboard, not necessary, guys. If you're a beginner, you don't have a scoreboard, not necessary at all. Corn rounder, not necessary. You just need glue and scissors. I'm using this because I want to finish it, but this will work just as well. Just glue stick. Uh, for decorating, I have no clue. I'm going to take out some scraps, some bits and bobs. Let's just make the bases first and then do some decorating. Uh, I'll be inking, most likely. For inking, I'm going to use walnut stain. My, you know, a previous favorite. I've used this for years and years. I might even need another one. And um, I might make some sort of closures on them. I do not know for sure yet. If I will, I'll probably use some hardware like uh, either brats or eyelets or a piece of string. But honestly, guys, not necessary. So take out your paper pads. Yeah? Blue scissors. That's it. So let's do all the folding first, guys. Also, decide it on a closure. I'm not going to use any hardware. I am, however, going to use hole reinforcers. I have a whole bunch of these. And something that punches a hole. And a piece of string, a woolly, cotton, baker's twine, whatever you wish, guys. So, but that's later. First, let's make the pockets. Now, I've I've picked out some papers. Yes, I need to make this many. Maybe, hopefully more. Hopefully more. I hope um, some of you are still coming. <laughs> hopefully. Okay, let's see. I'm starting with one. Now, these are six by six. I am going to use the grid on my mat. Yeah. So I'm going to line it up. This is actually 10. With 10 here. And then this is 13. And then this is 16. Well, almost 16. This is not even a 6 by 6, guys. No. 
but that's okay. Six by it, it ought to be six by six. I'm going to fold this in up until the middle. Yes, the line that's in the center. So in this case, thirteen. Yes, and I'm going to fold the other half slightly over it, just like a quarter of an inch. Be sure to have it straight. That'll be lovely. There you go. See? No measuring, no folding. Just fold it towards the center and then um, fold it over a little bit. See? Like a quarter of an inch. Or if you're doing this in centimeters, in centimeters. Yeah? I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to fold the bottom off about a quarter of an inch. You don't need to, ha to have exact measuring, lovies. No. If you don't want to use a scoreboard, do it like this. Yes, I'm going to fold this up. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this down. For this, I am sort of trying to measure it. Uh, because I want this to be like an inch. It's going to be the flap that is the closure an inch now you've probably seen me make these a gazillion times but i'm doing it a little bit different this time than what i normally do do i have a bone folder at all you do use the back of your, of your scissors guys you don't need or a butter knife or or what have you okay so i'm folding it open again yeah now, if you are a beginner, you have never seen me do this, I'm going to mark what we are cutting off. There's sort of a rectangle shape here. This one, we're cutting this, and we're cutting this. Now, normally, I'd be cutting these off. I am not, however. I am not. I'm going to start on the bottom, guys. Now, I'm going to cut these off, but not straight. I'm going to cut them at an angle. So, like so. Yes? If you cut this straight, you're going to fold it in and flip this over. This might sort of not be straight and it will curl up and it will be a mess. So that is why I am cutting this at a slight angle towards the middle here. Yeah, so at a slight angle. Let me show you on the other side. At an angle here and at a slight angle here. There you go. Let me show you why I did this. When you fold these in, see they're a little bit floating above the crease that we made here. So if we fold this over, because we're going to close it like so, this will not be in the way. It will not curl up or be bulky or what have you. Right? Yeah. That is why we slanted everything. Now normally, I'd say, cut this at an angle and cut these off. But... I am not going to. This is something I don't even know who I've seen. There. Probably Gail or Rachel or some brilliant other woman. <laughs> okay. I am cutting um, these lines over here. However, I am not cutting them straight. You could cut them straight, but I also need them at an angle. So I'm going to cut it at an angle, slight angle. Yes, over there. And... Over here. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to make another one. Up until the fold. Yeah? Okay. Going to fold everything in again. There you go. There you go. This will eventually fold up. Normally, I'd have the flap downwards. On the sort of crease here in the middle. But now, I want to have the flap on the sort of blank side. The side that doesn't have all the... What's it called? Creases, seams, I don't know. These things. These things, yeah? Okay, so here's how I'm doing it. Here's how I'm doing it. New trick. New trick. Um, I'm using this. I'm going to glue this flap over here down. This will sort of reinforce the entrance. Right? Don't worry, I'll do it a couple more times. Yeah? And then I'm folding this in. This will stick out. That's okay. Folding this in. This will stick out. That's okay. Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to put glue on the outer edge of this flap. Just a small strip of glue. Hopefully you have something like this. Glue stick will also, also work. No worries. And I'm also going to put some glue on this line. 
on the inside. So one on the outside and one on the inside. The outer edges. Yeah? I'm going to glue these together. Like so. Now don't worry if this is not straight. Because we're going we're gonna to make it straight, guys. Yeah? We glue this. This is the middle. And then we're going to put glue here. On the bottom part. And fold it up. This is actually the back of the pocket. I'm going to flip it over. Yeah. Now we have something that sticks out here and sticks out here. I'm actually going to fold it in at an angle. Like so. And the other one as well. Try to have them equal to one another, guys. See, like so. You could snip this. But I think if you do it like so, it also sort of reinforces the flap a little bit. Makes it a little bit heavier. So I'm going to put glue here. And glue this down. Yes. I'm going to put glue here. And glue this down. See this is not straight. But that's quite alright. Um, this is not necessary guys. Because I'm going to put something over it. But let's just say. You are not. I'm just going to trim it. If I can find my knife at all. Yes, there it is. Oh, do it with scissors, loves. Do it with scissors. But, you know, I am better with a knife than with scissors. Especially if you want to have this straight. There you go. Now you're going to fold this in. Voila. There's your pocket. You only see this. This is white. If this bothers you, guys, ink it. Put a little piece over it. It will not bother me at all. No. See? Lovely pocket. I'm going to make one more with you guys. Just to show you. So let's do another one. Guys, I figured out why this isn't 6x6. Six six because these are Dutch paper pads. Uh, we don't work in in inches. We work in centimeters. And this is actually 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Yes. So it the difference is yay much. Yay much. Okay, but that's that's quite all right. Um, also, if you're doing the the eight by eight or the ten by tens, just fold it towards the center. Fold it towards the center. Yes, it'd be nice if it was straight, and then overlap it by quarter inch, half a centimeter, a little bit. If you're working with a bigger piece of paper, you could have the overlap a little bit uh, bigger, right? Yeah. Just, you know, have everything in proportion. Yes, this is going to be the bottom. I'm going to fold it up. Also, if you're working with 8 by 8 you can fold it up uh, a little bit more than this. Yeah, no worries. And the flap, maybe you want to have a big flap or an even smaller flap. It's up to you guys. No real measuring is involved. Okie dokie, we did all the folding. Yes, opening it up again. These need to go on the bottom. I'm just cutting this at a small angle. Cutting this at a small angle. There we go. Now, if you want to make it really nice and grungy, um, before you glue everything down, you could ink it. Yeah. This I wanted to have at an angle. Not necessary. You can cut it straight, guys, and then uh, cut it at an angle if it confuses you. I'm just going to cut it at an angle from the inside. Not from the outside. Inside. There you go. Yes. So, we're folding this and this and this. Now, if you want to do the inking, ink this first. Ink this first, yeah, if you want to. I am not going to because I'm just going to do the inking on the outside. The big flap on the top, we're going to glue down. The big flap, not the small flap, guys. Or you could basically um, do the small flap on the inside and then these on the outside. I don't enjoy this. I want them to be on the inside. Hello, bottle. How are you doing? It's been open for a couple of minute, minutes because um, the mailman came. I had 
to open the door for a package and then within five minutes another mailman came <laughs> so i'm really happy they came so short after one another now i won't be bothered again this whole day okay yes what were we doing putting glue you can start here or there that's quite all right lovies doesn't really matter and one on the outside Be sure not to put glue there. And one on the inside. All the way to the top, guys. Because we need to glue the flappy part together. Yes. Bottom part first. There we go. And then these I'm going to fold in. You could make a notch here if you want to. You can already tell this flip, this flap is uh, a bit shorter. <laughs> well, that's okay because it's not, you know, exact science, lobbies. I have the feeling this needs to be a little bit more. Does it? Bit of glue here, bit of glue there. Oh, this is actually straight, mom, um, sort of straight. <laughs> That's just the tiniest bit. That's a sliver. Yes. Et voila, another pocket. Now. You will have like an overlap here. I don't really mind this, but you might be working with some paper that has more of a design to it. That'll be sort of meh. <laughs> so keep that in mind, guys. Yeah, also this is now upside down, but I am fine with it. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm going to make a couple more. How many? Well, a lot more. I'm going to make a lot more. And then I'm going to sort of concentrate on the sort of closure idea on this. So I've made 18. Yes, it took me a while. <laughs> it took me a while. Uh, what I did, guys, I inked all around them. Yes. Just, you know, the edges. I just opened it up the pocket like so. And then I had some more room to ink it. So on the front and on the back. And then I, I've picked out some labels. Now, these are labels from Michelle to Junk Journal Studio. Labels Days Gone By. This is the original one, the brownish ones. Then she has some red, green and blue. I've used some red and I've used some blue. Um, and I'm going to pair them. Well, I already did. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these. Yeah? Okay. We have a label here. I am going to ink it first. I started out with walnut stain, but that uh, paper, uh, paper pad, that ink pad is completely dried up, uh, guys. So switch to ground espresso, of course. Yeah, I'm going to put a label on. On the flappy, yes, have it stick out sort of halfway, halfway. Depends on how big your label is. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue here. Yep. Have it stick out. Yeah. Okay. Was that straight? Ish. It is now. It is now. And then I'm going to pick out a um, hole reinforcer. This is with sort of red-ish. Ooh. I think that'll be a lovely, lovely color. Oh, yes. I'm going to have this one. On here first I need a hole I'm going to punch a hole there you go I need tweezers and this is merely for for sort of uh, decorating guys um, maybe you should not have put glue on the ends because they will stick out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Let's do another one. I, I've picked out some reds, some blues and some neutral colored ones. Just a lovely blue one. Already paired them, that will, that will save on time. Yeah, I made eight, 18, I have no clue how much I will be needing. But we'll find out, we'll find out. Okay, do we have a sort of brighter blue one? Probably do. Yes, we do. Oh, do you want this? Ooh, that's a, that's the wrong color blue. Do we have something in a right color blue? Is there a right color blue? Ooh, a dark one. Boring. <laughs> that's the same color. Do you want to do... Oh, that is cool. It's made from map. Or a little bit of red here. Make up your mind, love. Well, I found a this. There we go. What's the other side? That's pretty yellow. Yeah. There you go. The whole reinforcers, guys, are from a die cut set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's called Reinforcement Pack. There are three of them. I like two of them. There's one that has like a baby clothing material. I don't know. Something with a baby. Bla baby clothing. That's just not me. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to do all the other ones um, off camera. Because I have 18 guys. Yes, I know. Ridiculous. Isn't this lovely? I just love it. Oh, these labels are so cool. And in my mind, they made the, she made them for me. Because I asked for it. <laughs> I asked for it. She probably already had the idea to make them in different colors. But I asked, can you make them for me in blue, green and uh, red? And she did. Um... What's the brighter one? Oh, those bright colors don't go well. But this one does. Oh, there's a little bit of structure on this side. Most of these in here I did not make myself. I got in Happy Mail a couple of years ago. Oh, you forgot to punch a hole. Oh, you can punch a hole afterwards. See? Worked. Completely worked. Yes, I got these in Happy Mail from a friend of mine, Barbara. Yeah, so sweet. Uh, and because she had these, I was like, I need... Because I think these were made with the same uh, die cut set. And then I bought the die cut set. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do? I'm going to put all the labels on. I'll be right back. Well, I already like them a lot. They're just... Too cute, too cute. Okay, I've taken out this, guys. This sort of mimics Baker's Twine. It's not really Baker's Twine. I bought this on AliExpress years ago. It is way thinner. And that is a good thing because these are made from, you know, not that heavy paper. So I'm just going to pair some of it. Do we want... Well, we actually want this. I'm going to see. I'm going to leave a little bit and then wind it around two times. Not too tight. One, two, a little bit more. So, yay much. Yay much. I'm going to make a loop, yes, with a small piece left. So, not in the middle, just a loopy. Then, put it through. Both pieces through the loop. There you go. Ta-da. See? And then you take the bigger piece. And you wrap it around twice. Or once. Whatever you want, loves. Or 16 times. 
and uh, you make uh, another bow. Um, I always make a bow because bows are pretty. Well, in my opinion. See? Oh, yes. Lovely. But more decorating. I want to do a little bit more decorating. You could also do some decorating on the back, guys, if, if you want to. I'm just going to do uh, the front. I want to have a, a, little, a little something there. No clue what, but we're going to find out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these, yes, all around. Make lovely little small packages. Yeah, oh, it's so cute. Let's do some decorating. I have paired some uh, more labels with all of them. I already love them so much. They're so cute. Yes, most of the labels are still from Michelle to Junk Journal Studio. Um, and I think I want to add some, I don't know, book pages, little pieces. I had these on my desk. Uh, because of the well, the project that I did, the book page library card pockets. So I just want to add a little bit of paper to the background, just like so. Yes, I'm going to wrap it around. Please, glue, work with me. I have 18 to go, glue. You need to work with me, not against me. <laughs> there we go. You could do this with glue stick, guys, but normally this works quicker. But not at the moment. I am not inking the old book pages. I don't think that is necessary at all. Just a little bit of background. I already inked all the labels. There you go. Also took out some poster stamps. It's just too cute. Does it need one more? I have some tiny, tiny labels. Well, not tiny ones, but you know, smaller ones. Does it need anything? It does. Yes. Bolton and Sons, they're bakers. Let's see. I'm not even going to remove the string. Why would I want to? There you go, some lovely decorating. Now for this one already has a lot of script going on. So I was thinking just to add a label. With a little bit of yellow because of the... Do we want to flip it over? Oh, well, I think we do. There you go. And I have a brown poster stamp. For three cents. This is Dutch. An oldie. Yes, way before my time, guys. There you go. Next one. Um, do we want another piece of maybe some script? This is French. Taking off a piece. Oops, well, I'm taking off this piece apparently. Yeah. Okay, how are we going to do this? Well, like so. A little bit of glue. Or you can do all sorts to these guys if you're into stamping. Well, I am into stamping, but I wanted to keep it simple. Do some background stamping. That would have been fantastic. I did think about it. There you go. Leeds Civic Week in 1928. Do we want to add a something? Yes, we want to add a something. I'm going to flip this one over as well. This says, ah, ah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, ah, I'm going to cover you up. I do not want to cover up the leads. Is, you know, I think sort of important. 
There we go. I flip this over. Oh, but you, you must add glue. Otherwise, it will not stick. Oh, yeah. Cute. This one. Already so, so lovely. So I'm not going to add a lot. Just another piece of paper. And by all means, guys, use just your book scraps. I just had these lying on my desk. And I was like, well, I could either put them away or put them to use. I decided to put them to use. <laughs> With a lovely number. Do we want a wraparound poster stamp? I'm so happy I am back at my... Uh, well, my normal desk because I have drawers here um, with lots of posts. And, oh, this is a lovely one, isn't it? Are you going to use her? Wilhelmina, this is um, the mother of my favorite queen, Juliana. Actually, a beautiful stamp. Oh, well, actually, this is a beautiful pocket. I love this paper. Well, that's why I bought it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe my favorite. I added another poster stamp here. And maybe. Oh, this says 1959 and this says 59. Okay. Well, you know. Done. Done. Something simple can be very fantastic. Um, do we want to have... No, I'm going to have this here. And then this... Well, this over here. Beautiful poster stamp. Was this from the Olympics or something? I don't even know. South Africa. Yes, have this one here. Ta-da! Another blue one. Poster stamp. Ooh, that's a lovely one. With a tulip on it. I'm just gonna. Just gonna. Now, this is not an old, old one. But pretty nonetheless. Yes. Has a little bit of gold on it. It's almost Christmassy. Yep. And then this one here. It needs needs a piece here of something. Let's see. Yes, it needs a this. There we go. It does bother me. I inked all around it, guys. But these uh, labels that have these sort of angles and then square, well, straight on the outside. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it just bothers me. It just bothers me. So I need to snip it off. There we go. The Baltimore Railroad Company. That is so crooked. There we go. There we go. I have... Well, I have this, guys. I added a green twine because I thought it looked very, very beautiful. So I need to add a little bit more green. So I have some green here. I want to add a little bit of book page, but then something older and more discolored some of this beautiful German font
Yes. I'm just going to have it underneath here. Would have been a lot easier if I didn't already tie them. But, you know. Let's pretend you're a professional and you can do this. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. And then for the lovely label. And a poster stamp. Can we find something in the burgundy brownish color? These are more red like, yeah. We'll have some browns. Probably do. Let's see. Are these the brown ones? No, these are the gray ones. They're all the way in the back of my drawers. And these are actually purple. Purple? No. No purple. Oh, the browns are here. Some brown ones. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. I don't know who you are, lady. Matthijs Maris. Well, you look like a girl. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the painter. I don't know who this is. It's a Dutch person. For sure. Maybe it was a painter and he painted a random lady. Who knows? Yeah. That's a pretty one. I do have a couple of these in a poster stamp album. I'm going to peek through these. Oh, yes. I love this one. Pretty, right? Yeah. Speaking of pretty, yes, I have this one. It's already really pretty. I added something sort of lavender color. And I have a lavender poster stamp. I was thinking just to add this. Um, wrap it around. Yes, I do. Uh, I did make these from I, I think 180 grams. So the paper is rather heavy. Hopefully, it will want to flip over. Sure. Yes, yeah, sure. Do we want to ink it? Well, you just did. And then the poster stamp has, normally I'd leave it, but for some reason it bothers me. From France. With a rooster on it, on it so it's probably like Le Coq Sportif. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for those of you who are not uh, from Europe, Le Coq Sportif is like a, a sports names brand. That has a rooster on it. And I, I think Le Coq is um, French for the rooster. But, you know, not French. So I could be mistaken. Okay, I have this one. Now, again, there's red, red here, green here. So I needed red and green. So I took these two. Still need a little bit of uh, script. Or text, because there's lots of script on here already. Yeah. Do you want to do it on this side? Yeah. The poster stamp is actually a Christmas post poster stamp from Canada. Do you want to see? See? Cute, right? Yeah, I have a couple of those. I did not intentionally um, <laughs> go look for a Christmas poster stamp. Happened to be in my pile of red poster stamp. And I was like, well, you know, it, it is the season. Well, it almost is the season. Do you want it here? Yeah. Oh, yes. So cute. So, so cute. I have another blue one. Festival of Britain. It's an old one because I believe this is King George. Is it George? I don't know. Are you going to add a little something? Oh, it's so cool. Just to add the tiniest piece of 
a book page in another language. I'm going to flip it over. Is there glue? There is glue. Yeah. Then the post-it stamp. I might be putting on a um, very expensive rare post stamp. Well, probably not. Probably not. I got a question in the comments um, the other day. People asking, are you sure these are not very valuable? I, I think so. Because I bought a whole, whole, whole bunch of them from a lady in our own village whose father was sort of a poster stamp collector. And, well, I think he probably passed away. I don't know. Um, and she sold me the whole box for 15 euros. I guess if it was worth something, she probably... Uh, would not have asked 15 euros for it, right? Yeah, great. Oh, I have so much more to go. Couple more to go. Let's hurry up. <laughs> Let's just hurry up. I want to have this here. And then, because I want to repeat the purple. Yeah, okay. There we go. Little piece of paper. In the beautiful old German Gothic font, so that is cool. Again, I'm going to wrap this around. And then, Republic of Indonesia. with a lizard type of animal. Don't glue your bow down. And there we go. Another one. Then I have this one. I have the purple all around here. I have a pretty piece of book page. It is already very pretty some sort of flower on it. There you go. Then something spalding, dry goods. Okay, dokey and an eight cent poster stamp from the Netherlands. These are the older ones. I love them. I have a whole bunch. Yep. Next one. This is very neutral and I wanted to keep it sort of neutral. So I've chosen a small strippy of paper. Absolutely love this one. Look at the coffee stain. It was already there. Did not add it. <laughs> then this one. I'm going to have it off the page. I think you are love. There we go. Pure bourbon. Well, my dad would enjoy it. He's a bourbon drinker. Not a big drinker, but it's his birthday coming up. And um, I think I'm going to buy him a lovely bottle of bourbon. Yeah. Yes. Now guys, this one, the paper is already fantastic. I am just going to add a label and nothing more. Just this, ta-da, done. Then I have this one with the orange, lovely, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to have this flip over.
like so needs a bit of inking and then this one over here and we need we need a something there uh, i'm gonna take out my brown ones do we have something orangey brown oh oh i love this it has uh like sort of a red cross here from yugoslavia and it sort of mimics this here that says oh, one penny so yeah and then this one have it a little bit more over here yeah great great Three more to go. Next one. I have this one. Yeah, another sort of neutral one. I absolutely love these. Uh, and I've taken out a piece of, well, paper. And a label. There's a little bit of very dark blue in the label. So I am going to add a color. There you go. Yes. I was thinking either this one. Or this one. I have a gazillion of these. I do love it. It's from Austria. The country where Barbara is from. 49 dragonflies. There we go. It's a beautiful, it's from Salzburg. Yeah. Pretty one. There we go. Okay, speaking of poster stamps, again, guys, it's already so lovely. There are sort of uh, postcards sort of everywhere. Um, so I am putting on a piece of, um, this is actually very old Dutch encyclopedia. Putting this on. And because the postcards are diagonally and, you know, here and there, I'm just going to put these on sort of diagonally. Which is actually very hard for me to do. Yeah. And both of them are um, Queen Elizabeth. In green. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense to me. No. <laughs> For some reason I think they need to be... Uh, no. No. Leave it, love. Leave it. I'm going to leave it. Leave it. And the last one. Another piece of beautiful German font. To put it this there's a big rose on here i'm going to put it here yes then i have this labels probably also from either an encyclopedia or a dictionary well the original I have this here fold it over needs more glue Yes, love. <laughs> and then this one. Again, Republic of Indonesia. Oh. You can hear my cat in the background. This is what's happening, guys. I have my dressing gown from this morning. It's fleece. It's nice. It's fluffy. Fluffy. It's soft. It is actually on my husband's uh, uh, desk uh, uh, chair. And now she's on top of it, like, you know, kneading. And she's like, ooh, so soft. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, they are done. Let me show you the end result. They are adorable. I really like them. Let me show you, guys. Let me show you. I'm going to show you up close. It's just, 
it's just cute now these are going to be sort of um i don't know gift bags call them gift bags i'm going to put uh, so, some small bits and bobs in there and i'm going to give them away uh, on my meet and greet um december 9th is it's going to be in the netherlands guys and it's it's sort of casual it's not a big a big deal or anything yes it is at um do a ding and you know if i have a lovely chat with one of my subscribers uh, i have something to give them like a small sort of present yeah oh, i do like them I do like them. But make them yourself, guys. Uh, put it in a pocket in your journal. Oh, yes. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> I put another poster stamp there. For sure. It's actually... I think it's either her father or her um, grandfather. I don't know. I am not from the UK, guys. Oh, one of my favorites, for sure. Absolutely love these. I love Michelle's label so much. It's just too cute. Also, again... Oh, yes. I looked it up. Uh, it is a girl. And uh, Matthijs Maris, it is a painter. And the portrait is called The Girl. So, definitely a girl. These are actually um, children's poster stamps. It's a thing in the Netherlands. Yeah. Another blue one. Very, very pretty. I made lots of blues for some reason. Well, I think blue is very sort of a wintry color. Love this. Do you? Can you tell it has some gold on here? Yes, have some gold writing. And this with the roses. So very cute. Just a label because paper. Look at the back. Already very pretty. This one as well. Just cute. So you see, you can make them in any style that you want. Another very uh, sort of neutral one. Adore them. Yeah. Mass make them, guys. Yeah, I cannot wait. To see what you come up with. I forgot to ink here. Do we have a uh, one? There you go. I love the the color. Uh, the sort of maroon. Uh, with the purple. It's very cool right? Yes. Speaking of purple. Big purple eight. Yeah because of the purple string. And then. Oh yeah I love this one as well. Two last blue ones. Guys, that's it for today. It is Friday, which means the weekend is here. Please go and enjoy your weekend. I'll be back this Sunday with another episode of What's Up or What's New. I'm going to combine it, guys, with a small junk journal vintage supply haul. I have not been thrifting, but I have some... I found some beautiful items that I want to share with you. And I'm going to have a lot of information on the meet and greet. Now, this is just for us Dutchies, Yeah. I'm not going on world tour, unfortunately. Uh, but I got a lot of questions. Where is it? When is it? Uh, do I need tickets? No, you don't need tickets. Just come by, do a thing. I am there. I'm going to have a lovely chat with you guys and do some demonstrations. But all of this for Sunday. So I'm hoping to see you this Sunday. Or if you're just waiting for a project, I'll be back on Monday with something cute. I promise. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.